few weeks ago, I really wanted to 3D print something that attached to my garden hose. So I looked up garden hose thread Fusion 360, and this is what I got. I got one video here where someone's modeling a garden hose thread using an existing 3D model that they downloaded from the internet. And then there's this video here, which is the most popular one with 99,000 views. And he makes a garden hose cap where the thread isn't even compatible with garden hose. So this thumbnail is a lie. So basically there's nothing online about how to make garden hose thread. And in this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to hack Fusion 360 so that you can use garden hose thread natively in the drop down menu in the threads. Let's navigate to the folder where the thread data is. So here we go. App data, local, Autodesk, web deploy, production. Then we want to find the folder that has the most recent date. So is this one Dabka? Dabka. Then we go to Fusion again, then server. And then we go to Fusion, configuration, thread data. And here we are. These are all the files that tell Fusion 360 how to make a thread. First, let's try to find the standard for garden hose thread. Okay, so right here we see we got ANSI B1 20.7. I never would have been able to figure this out. So we put it in Bing. And you can see that you have to pay $43 for this. So basically garden hose thread is behind locked behind a paywall. Let's open one of these XML files and see what it looks like. I'm just opening it in Notepad. You can see it has some pretty basic things about um, thread design. Um, so it's got the threads per inch here, major diameter, pitch diameter, minor diameter. So I want to see if it can pull out or calculate some of the values from the standard and put them into this XML format, which I just took from one of the other files. Uh, so it says, sorry, I cannot reproduce that directly, but it sounds like it can um, put these placeholders in. So I ask, without looking directly at the standard, can you calculate the values? It says, certainly, here they are. Can you put them in the XML format? Yes. Okay, so put them in, but there's still some values here that are missing. So I said, can you guess or calculate the non-specified values? Um, so it says certainly, and it goes through the calculation, and then it puts all the values here. So the only thing left is a sort order, which I think is a UI thing for Fusion. So I just asked it, can you just make the sort order one and repost the XML? So here we are, that's the finished XML for the three fourths inch um, garden hose thread with a TPI of 11.5. So I'm going to copy that code. And what I'm going to do is, um, I already have this file here, garden hose thread YouTube. So I'm going to open it with notepad. I'm just going to delete this. I'm going to put that in there and hit save. Okay. So now we're going to open up Fusion 360 and see if we can make some garden hose thread. I'm just going to create a sketch real quick. Okay, a little circle with a diameter of 1, or rather 0.75 since we're doing 0.75 garden hose thread. And then I'm going to extrude it up an inch. And then we're going to go to the thread tool. I'm just going to drag it over here so you can see. So we're going to select the face, we're going to hit modeled, and then I'm going to go down to, let's see, so this is my original one, definitely not garden hose thread, and then this is the one we just added, GHT. So I'm going to click on that and hopefully we get some garden hose threads, and look at that. That is awesome. 